You're listening to Small Business Conversations with PKJ Podcast, where your host, Phyllis Johnson of PKJ Consulting, interviews entrepreneurs and small business owners on their passion, their knowledge, and their journey they took to start and grow their business. This podcast is meant to inspire, inform, and empower others interested in becoming successful. Are you ready to start on your own journey to success? Greetings and welcome to another edition of Small Business Conversations with PKJ. I am your host, Phyllis Johnson, owner and CEO of PKJ Consulting, where we help those who have a strong passion understand and gain the knowledge needed to help them through their entrepreneurial journey. Today we have with us Tandy Salter, a native of Columbus, Georgia, who is a certified life and master business success coach. She is the number one Amazon best-selling author of Inhale Confidence, 21 Days of Affirmations for the Millennial Women, and the co-author of best-selling book, 20 Beautiful Women, Volume 2. Tandy holds degrees in paralegal studies, sociology, and business administration. While having achieved many things, Tandy is like all of us. She's battled with grief and depression, gone through a divorce, and felt unworthy of success. However, she has overcome those obstacles and much more. She now uses her education and experience to pour into other women so they can reach their highest potential. Tangi has been featured on a plethora of platforms, including Huffington Post, Get Out of Your Own Damn Way podcast, Evolutionary Woman Radio, On the Rise Radio, Essence Magazine, Courageous Woman Magazine, and much more. She's also been a speaker for several conferences and virtual events including International Day of Sisterhood Panel, Mission I'm Impossible, the Elevate You Experience. And in her free time, Tandy can be found reading, watching Netflix, and spending time with her family. And let's not forget, she loves to enjoy her snacks. So without further ado, let's welcome Tandy to the show and ask the most important question first. What's your favorite snack? Oh, my favorite snack... I have to say, definitely give me some Oreos with <laughs> a great glass of milk. Got to be real nice and cold, though. Nice. And okay. the double stuff Oreos, not the regular ones. That sounds good. <laughs> that sounds good. Well, great. So I appreciate you being here today. So tell me about, you've done so much. Tell me about the passion of how you got started as a certified life and business, master business success coach. Well, I've always had like a desire to help other people and I wanted to find a way to do it where it was unique to me and not so much, I don't want to say like, well, so much red tape, I guess you can say. I didn't want it to be a whole lot of control around it, but allow me to pour back into other women in my own unique way using the knowledge and the experience that I have. So it, I thought about doing counseling for a little while, but I was like, mm, that's not going to work. That's, that's too much red tape. <laughs> that's, <laughs> so that's not going to work. <laughs> but that's what I it just always been in me to kind of help and pour back into other people. Perfect. So how did you go about getting the knowledge to be successful and to become a coach? See, I, when I went to school, I did study sociology and um, public administration looking initially looking into social work and counseling so I took quite a few classes in social work counseling as well as um just studying culture and society as general so I have like a lot of knowledge about people and the way of thinking and the way they behave based on how they grew up and I also I started looking into coaching and I actually ended up getting my own coach to kind of like help me along the way and when I met her it's like, it's kind of open the door. It's like, I want to do this. I want to do what you're doing, but in my own way and to help my women that need help with building their business and balancing their life. Because to me, you can't build a business if things in your life are all crazy. I agree with you. So what she just said was she found someone who was doing what she was doing. So she got the education, but she found someone who she wanted to kind of mimic, but put her own little twist on it. And that's why I always tell people, you know, there's a thousand different accountants or a thousand different consultants, but you have to kind of find what your niche is so that you could be successful at it. So I love that she actually pointed that out. So let's dive a little bit more into your journey. You have 
been in a lot of places and a lot of magazines. Tell me more about like the journey that you went on. So you went to school and then you got a coach. How did you actually become, you know, you're certified. So how do you go about getting your clients? You know, what was kind of the process of making you successful? For me, it really, a lot of it started as far as word of mouth because I'm kind of introverted. So a lot of it was word of mouth. I kind of told like my family and my friends and a friend of mine sent someone and that was like my first client because a friend of mine referred them to me and then they told someone else. And as I learned more, I ventured out and started going to like small networking events and connecting with more people online as well. So I was like, online was a little bit easier because it didn't require me to come out the house yes. with my introverted <laughs> self. But at the same time, I still had to go out and send the messages or respond to the comments to make the connection. So a lot of it is word of mouth and networking. That is very funny because I'm actually introverted as well. And so even some, doing something like this podcast is way out my comfort zone. But I appreciate that you pointed that out is no matter what type of person you are, if you want to be successful, you know, other people will see something in you. So her friend saw something in her, started referring her and she wanted to keep doing what she was doing. So she pushes herself outside of her comfort zone and goes to networking events and makes those connections online, but she likes to do it from her home. So do you do online coaching for the most part or do you actually meet up with clients in person? I mostly do online coaching. Um, if they're within my local area, I do meet up with them in person, but mostly online. Okay, perfect. So what is your goal with your business? My goal, my business is to continue to grow and expand it so that I'm fully financially independent and also to help other women learn to balance their life and get organized so that they're able to build their very own businesses as well. So they won't feel as stuck or just, um, I guess, lost. Good. Perfect. So tell me about one of your biggest wins or success stories. Um, one of my biggest wins would have to definitely be the books because I've always, been like a writer and I kept saying I'm going to write a book and I'm going to be a bestseller. The first one was the 20 Beautiful Women 2. I saw a post online from the publisher was looking for women to contribute and be a part of the book and I was like okay I'm going to step out and push myself and I sent her a message asking for more information on how to be a part of the book and I was like okay but that part was done. <laughs> <laughs> the second part was actually submitting my story and I was super excited when I got the email saying it's been approved and it was going to be in the book. Wow. And then, then when I did the book of affirmations, it was more so to encourage myself because I do speak affirmations. I do believe the words you speak have power over your life. So I started writing them in um, a friend of mine. I was like, well, you should share this with other people. It can help. So I worked with a publisher that I met through Facebook doing some networking <laughs> and she helped me to get everything organized and edited and get the book published. And I was like to see them both um, become bestsellers. That was really, really big for me because it's like, okay, I'm doing it. I'm living my dreams wow. every single day. Wow. That is amazing. So will you share with the guests one of your favorite affirmations? One of my favorite affirmations, it's actually the title of the book is I inhale confidence. Because with every single breath I take, I want to take in more confidence and release all doubt, all fear and worry so that I'm confident in myself, my skills, my ability, as well as the products and services that I provide to my clients. I like that. Inhale confidence. That is good. So you told me about your biggest win, which getting number one on Amazon is huge. <laughs> Congratulations. So tell me about a loss and a lesson learned from it. I think, I don't know, I don't really want to say it was a loss, but it was a very difficult time. I felt I was still working my full, a full-time job, and I was feeling overwhelmed at work and in the business, and I felt like the business was not quite going where I wanted to go, and I got to a point where I actually felt like I was going to give up on and just quit. I was like, I'm going to quit the business, I'm going to quit the job, I'm going to find a better job, <laughs> and I have as much stress, and I'm just going to quit the business, and I told myself I would take off a couple of weeks and revisit things. It actually ended up being a full year that I took off. Wow. But 
during the year, I was able to reevaluate quite a few things within my personal life, my job, and my business. And I was able to gain so much clarity and insight. It's what helped me to push forward and also come back a stronger person to be able to help my clients even more, especially when it comes to balancing the life in the business. Perfect. So you just pretty much took that leap to just say, you know what, I'm going to do this full time. How long have you been running your business? I've started, it's been almost five years. I started in January 2014. Congratulations. That's good. (laughs) So you've been on a lot of different things. You've been on radio, you've been in Essence Magazine, we've been on podcasts. So Essence and the Courageous Woman Magazine, how did you get into those magazines? The Courageous Woman Magazine was actually, I met the actual publisher at a networking event in Vegas. Oh, wow. Um, And she was looking for women to be a part of the magazine. And it was one of those things where, like, I'm going to (laughs) try. So I just, okay, let me try and submit myself, my information. And it was, I was accepted to be a part of the magazine. So that one, and then Essence Magazine, Here's a tip for all entrepreneurs. It's a website called Haro, H-A-R-O. It's, I think it's .net. It's help a reporter out. And sometimes the reporters will go in and put the stories they're working on or they'll put like a subject they want experts to give their inform- their wisdom or knowledge on. And so at the time, I didn't know it was for essence because some of them are anonymous and some of them put who they're writing for so the one I signed up for was anonymous. It was asking questions about building a career. And when you know it's time to leave a job, I was like, sure, I can talk about this. And then I got a phone call. I got an email first from the um, reporter that was working on it. And we talked. And then we got, after the email, we scheduled a phone call. So on the phone call, we're talking. And she said she was submitting it to Essence and she would let me know it was published. I was like, oh, really? Um, okay. <laughs> That's good. So can you repeat that website one more time? It's Haro, H-A-R-O, help a reporter out. Perfect. So everybody write that down and go to that website. So also follow them on Twitter because sometimes they'll tweet out what they're looking for as well. Perfect. I'm definitely going to share that tip with all of my followers because that is big. Because a lot of times people want to get on those platforms. We just don't have a clue how. And that's really the goal of this podcast is to kind of share with the community of how to, you know, get through these little journeys that we're all on. So the next session I talk about is some of your favorites. Can you tell me a favorite book or website or podcast that's helped you along the way? I would definitely have to say any book by Seth Godin. He is like super, super amazing and on top of everything, especially when it comes to marketing. And then another a podcast I would have to say is Online Marketing Made Easy with um, Amy Porterfield. Mm-hmm. She just simplifies things and she, her guests are super amazing as well. So there's not a podcast of hers you would listen to where you won't learn something. Good. So yeah, I've listened to her podcast. I love it. Um, so I definitely agree with you. So Tandy, is there anything else that you want to share with our followers? Well, and speaking of the excitement with the books, I actually just released my new book on Amazon. It's called Confessions of a Broke Entrepreneur. Oh, nice. I just share along my journey where that time I got frustrated when I realized I wasn't making as much money as I wanted to be making in my business and how I had to reevaluate things and also share tips for other entrepreneurs how they can avoid becoming a broke entrepreneur. Perfect. Confessions of a Broke Entrepreneur. So if you go to my website, this will be on there as a link so that you guys can purchase it from Amazon directly. So I just want to really go through three tips of things that Tandy discussed today that I really think is very important. Number one, find somebody that you want to be like as a mentor, learn what you can from them, and then try to you know make the process your own. The second thing that I would 
definitely say is push yourself outside of your comfort zone. You know, that's the number one thing as entrepreneurs that we have to do. We all have that thing that we're comfortable doing, but you have to kind of just step outside of that box. You know, the worst thing that can happen is it doesn't work. I always tell someone, you know, you try. If it doesn't work, okay, you go back to what you were doing, but at least you tried. The third thing that I really want to share with you is the Herald.net website. Check that out. Um, she was able to kind of just put herself out there and get into these magazines. And, you know, even being on this podcast, she's someone who said, I want to do it. And um, I was very interested in having her. So, you know, make sure you just kind of go for it. So, Tandy, can you share some of your social media sites if people want to get in contact with you? Sure. Um, in order to get in contact with me, you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Instagram, all at Tandy Salter. Perfect. So as you travel along the path to success, be confident in yourself and your skills. There may be a million others who do something similar, but no one can do it like you. That's a quote from Tandy. So thank you for listening to another episode of Small Business Conversations with PKJ. And I look forward to you guys tuning to another episode. Thanks. Thanks for listening to Small Business Conversations with PKJ. Want to learn more or listen to prior episodes? Go to pkjpodcast.com. Please tune in to the next episode where we will interview another amazing guest on their passion, knowledge, and journey to success.